Chicagoans were asked in a recent poll to identify the one asset in the city of Chicago that meant the most to them. The overwhelming vote was for Lake Michigan. Not surprising. Lake Michigan is a primary source of drinking water for more than 10 million people, not just in my state, but in Wisconsin, Indiana, and Michigan. It supports a million, multi-million dollar fishing industry, important to local economy, and it's beautiful. It's a recreational uh, asset for swimming, kayaking, boating, or just taking a walk along the beach. It is just a gorgeous lake. But unfortunately, the health of our great Lake Michigan is threatened every summer when a coal-burning ferry boat dumps tons of coal ash into the lake every day all summer long. Meet the SS Badger. Many people have fond memories of this boat, the SS Badger, steaming from its home port of Ludington, Michigan to Manitowoc, Wisconsin every summer. But they need to be reminded of one thing. The SS Badger is the last coal-fired ferry in the United States. And there is a reason, it's the last one. Every year, based on the estimates given to us by the company, this boat dumps 600 plus tons of coal ash into Lake Michigan. 600 plus tons every single year. Since 1953, that's their record. Well, what does that do to Lake Michigan? In the 59 years the SS Badger has been in operation, it has discharged a conservative estimate of 35,400 tons of coal ash into Lake Michigan. That's enough to coat the entire floor of Lake Michigan with a layer of ash two and a half inches thick. A recent article in the Chicago Tribune did a comparison of the amount of coal ash discharged from the Badger to the dry cargo residue discharged by all other vessels operating on Lake Michigan. Here's what they found. 50 U.S. ships and 70 Canadian ships on Lake Michigan are responsible for a combined total of 89 tons of solid waste dumped every year. That's 120 ships, 89 tons in a year. The Badger by itself is responsible for almost six times more waste than these 125 vessels combined, even when using the most conservative estimate of what the Badger dumps overboard during the course of a summer. Now yesterday, the EPA vessel general permit that has enabled the coal-fired car ferry SS Badger to discharge coal ash into Lake Michigan expired. The owner of the Badger insists that the coal ash is basically just sand. We know better. Scientists are concerned about coal ash because it contains things like arsenic, lead, and mercury. Once in the lake, these chemicals enter the food chain through the water we drink and the fish we eat. Then they accumulate in our bodies and are associated with cancer, reproductive, and neurological damage. We know how dangerous mercury contamination in fish is to human health. Well, it's time for the SS Badger to stop adding to the problem and either clean up its operation or close it down. If the Badger's own owners had only recently realized that dumping coal was a problem, it might be okay to cut them some slack. But the Badger's owners have a long history of avoiding the steps needed to clean up their act. They've had plenty of time to clean up their act, and they failed. Now we have to get serious. I'm hoping that the EPA decides very quickly that it's time to end the coal-fired ferry tradition of the SS Badger. This is a vessel that generates and dumps five tons of coal ash laced with mercury, lead, and arsenic into Lake Michigan every single day. This great lake cannot take any more toxic dumping, no matter how historic or quaint the source may be.